I chipped my fucking tooth. <laughs> I chipped my tooth on a date that had a pit in it, and I didn't know that there was a pit in the date, and I munched into it and just straight up, just straight up just chipped my old tooth off. And I don't know if anyone remembers this, but on a live last week, two weekends ago, I was like, I was all like such a dick. I was like, I open shit with my teeth all the time. My mom tells me not to open stuff with my teeth, but I do because my teeth are so strong. And then like karma was like, oh, really, bitch? That's what you think? And so now I have a legit snaggle tooth. Look at that. <laughs> and nobody knows here on Roswell said. Don't tell anybody because production doesn't know that I have a chipped tooth. <laughs> We're gonna keep it that way. It'll be um It's the Lenten season. Do we have any um any fellow uh Lenten observers out there? I tried to get ashes today, and the cathedral was locked. The doors of the cathedral were locked, which always makes me sad, but I guess because it's COVID, um, they couldn't go in. So anyway, I'm like pretending that I have ashes on my forehead because, you know, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Pretty cool rings, right? Um. Anyway, I was thinking about this Lenten season, and um, one thing that I do that's a bad habit, and I don't know if maybe you guys do this too, I wake up very early because I'm a farmer at heart, and I chipped my fucking tooth. The first thing I do is pick up my telephone and look at my phone for like 30 minutes. I'll just sit on my phone doing what? Nothing. Just looking at like BuzzFeed articles or like Instagram or whatever it is. I'm just like doing nothing, absolutely nothing. And it's such a waste of my like a morning. So the thing that I'm trying to focus on for this Lenten season, for the next 40 days and 40 nights, I'm thinking I'm going to try to not pick up my phone first thing in the morning. And maybe instead I can like have a holy morning ritual and kind of have like amp up my spiritual practice. You guys do anything? Oh, planning on trying to do my own charity thing for my birthday. I just thank you, Derek. That's really cool. So, um, all of your photos are being sent out right now. I hope they're they're going through them. Um, I chipped my fucking to be getting them soon. Hi, Lily. Just so you guys know, my phone is about to die because I'm a loser and I didn't think about phone battery and my phone was just telling me that, um, oh, sorry, you know what? I can do even better ASMR. If I do this kind of ASMR, then I think, um, maybe we can start a whole channel with, uh, ASMR. And one thing I was thinking was doing, like, um, short stories and poems and stuff like that. Um, if you guys are into that, maybe I can do some ASMR for you. Um, and, um, if my phone dies, I'll go get a charger and I'll try to charge it up. Um, and if you guys want, oh yeah, that apple was so juicy. Thank you. Godard Oliver, I see you so much, dude. I see you in the comments, and it's just, I appreciate you. Um, I appreciate all of you guys, so. Y quería también hablar un poquito en español, porque tenía alguna gente que querían que me hablaba en español. Entonces, aquí estoy hablando en español. Yo siento que no puedo practicar tanto que quiero practicar, pero vivir en Nuevo México está muy bien, porque hay mu mucha gente aquí que, que se habla en español. Entonces, um, I'll do some more, um, maybe I can even do some poems in Spanish, because my favorite poem is in Spanish. Romance Sonambulo by Lorca. Um, anyway, I just wanted to check in 
and say to everybody, yo, thank you so much for following me. I feel like it's so cool. And um, I can't wait to hang more. I have Thursday and Friday off, so maybe I'll do like an actual um, scheduled live and we could we could all hang and do something and maybe I can do some more ASMR. So um, that would be fun. Anyway, just wanted to shout everybody out and say, um, I feel weird saying happy Ash Wednesday because I feel like it's like a, it's like a solemn Ash Wednesday, but to anyone who's like a spiritual practicer and is uh, using the next 40 days and 40 nights to get in touch with their spiritual side, join me. Let's do it together. You know, let's go on this journey together. So, um, I love you all and I'll, I'll talk to you later on. <laughs> Adios.